Yeah, hey Jeannie, great tie in there with it with us being up here in Mayport. And I'm sure a lot of folks uh, at the base probably had a hard time getting around today. We've been talking a lot about A1A, uh, but really down in uh, St. John's County, St. Augustine area. Well, I wanted to mention it up here. We're right about where the St. John's runs into the Intracoastal and it's kind of totally surrounded by water because you got the ocean not too far away. So uh, I've talked with some folks here who live along A1A and they said that they've been here for uh, about a decade, never seen water come up on A1A at this chunk of it all the way up here where we meet the ferry, uh, the St. John's Ferry. So they said that it was a good foot of water along A1A. So just to give you a little bit of perspective, it's dark, so it's tough to see a lot. So we'll show you what we can. We are at the boat ramp near the ferry and Josh is gonna show you this line of sand right here. Now, usually this parking lot is uh, looks you know, like a normal parking lot, uh, but it doesn't usually have this layer of sand. This is where the water came up to earlier today. A guy was showing me a video of it as it worked its way all the way up here. And uh, just to give you a reference point, I'm not the greatest at uh, judging distance, but that's our car parked down there uh, at the water. So that's a good 50 feet or so that it came up here at the boat ramp. And then A1A is just on the other side of this parking lot. So there were chunks of it that did see quite a bit of water work its way up there. So as we get later into the night here and as we wait for the next high tide to come around, we figured we'd try and find an area where we can show you a little bit with the light. And uh, those docks also were totally uh, underwater earlier today, the pavilion over there. So we may work our way down toward Atlantic Beach again and the uh, town center area in Atlantic Beach. So there'll be a lot of light there so we can get some perspective on uh, a little bit closer to the ocean there and see what it's going to look like here later tonight. But for now, we're in Mayport live. Zach Wilcox, First Coast News on your side.